Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and I'm starting off the vlog late tonight. It is already like almost five o'clock if not already five o'clock. It is 4.50 in the evening and I actually am gonna give Rain his first bit of solids today which I'm so excited and I wanted to film it and share it and this wasn't planned but I think I'm gonna try and put him down in his crib for the first time literally right now. So the last two days since we got back from Big Bear, he will not nap in the swing anymore. Like he's outgrowing it. He doesn't like being put down in it. And I've been having to put him um, down for naps in my bed. And I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and try and do it in the crib. So we're gonna attempt it. So he's down here on his play mat right now. I know he's ready to take a nap though. So we're gonna put him in a sleep sack. Um, I have it right here. I have two of them thankfully. So we'll keep one in here. Put him in a sleep sack and i'm gonna nurse him rock him and put him down we'll see how it goes the only thing i need to grab is the sound machine out of everly's room we have one in our room too but i'm gonna grab this one just for now put him down he's not gonna cry when I put him down because he's used to going in his crib like throughout the day and stuff like I'll just put him in there so he's used to his crib so that's a good thing but to fall asleep and stuff I'm not sure and you know what sucks my baby monitor the um the screen part for my baby monitor is broken Cody got this like <laughs> random baby monitor off of Amazon and as you can see I cannot see anything, but I can only use it to hear. Um, so if you guys have any good baby monitor recommendations, let me know. I have to try and switch it to the other camera because there's two cameras. Let me go ask Cody and see if he can help me. He's actually outside planting plants. We went to Lowe's for the 9,000th time and got some plants for our patio and for the front yard. So let me go ask Cody and see if he can help me. Right here. No. That one's really pretty. I might end up getting another one of those for the back. He's like not consistently crying. He stops and then he whines and he stops. And I just peeked in there and checked on him and his eyes are shut. So it's like I don't know if I should grab him or not, but he's not. He's like talking. to do it and when not to do it you know so he's like making noise he's not like hysterically crying he's just kind of like yeah 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 i'm gonna wait a couple more minutes he's asleep oh my gosh i could cry he just kept making that noise he was like crying but it was more like eh, like whining and then he fell asleep He's asleep in there. I don't know how long. It's 517. We'll see. I'll report back. But I'm so proud of him. I really think him co-sleeping with us has really prepped him to sleeping in his own crib and spending a lot of time in his crib throughout the day. Like literally since he was a baby baby. I've been putting him in there since like 
yeah, since he's come home, you know, just spending five minutes, two minutes, you know, 10 minutes in there. Um, we go in his room every single day. So I think that's really helped. So, so proud of him. I really think too, the sleep sack, he associates when that sleep sack comes on at nighttime with going to bed. So I knew when he put that on, he knew, okay, like we're going to bed. Babies are really like sensitive to that. And that's why it's really important to have like a routine of something every single night and then they expect it. So like, you know, once they get their sleep sack on and they lay down in that one place, you want them to go to bed. It's like, oh, okay, I'm going to sleep now. So I'm so proud of him. We'll see how long it lasts though. All right, so it's been 20 minutes and I was outside and I heard him crying on the monitor. Hi, big boy. You did it. You did it, baby. You slept in there the first time. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Good job, Rainy. Good job. Yay. I was just talking to Cody. I was like, so should we try to put him down tonight? And he said, yeah, let's try it. So we're going to try it. And I'm also going to feed him some oatmeal for the first time. He's never had solids. So we're going to do that. Give him his bath and then put him down for the night. So exciting. Mm, I love you. All right. So it's 6.20 right now. I'm actually going to defrost a little bit of breast milk and use this for... Rain's oatmeal. He's getting fussy over there because it's getting close to his bedtime. Dishes everywhere. It's a little chaotic right now. And this is the oatmeal we're gonna be using today. Hold on, baby. I, don't know if I can do this with one hand. Trying to make sure that it's nice and thin so it's not hard for him to swallow. I'm not baby, are you ready? Are you ready? This one, this one's not on. Yeah. All right, so Cody's gonna feed him. I made it with breast milk, so. I was gonna do carrots, but we're gonna do the oatmeal first. Everly, don't play with it because I don't want you to spill it, okay? Okay. You ready, big boy? No. I'm gonna feed him. You want me to feed you? Want to try? Want to taste? Yeah. Alright, buddy, here we go. <laughs> He's still. <laughs> you don't know what to do? Mmm, yum. I'm not feeling I don't know. Aww. <coughs> what are you thinking, bunny? What do you think, Rainy? Is it good? See if he opens his mouth like when you put so the spoon what, up to his mouth. What is this? It? It's just oatmeal and breast milk. Good job. <laughs> I can see a hole. Good job, Reem. No, I don't need help. Yes, you do. Uh -huh. mm. I got my soap. I got my soap. Who's it? Okay, let's pull it out of his mouth. All right, let's just let her try. Just a little spin. And do it real slow. Slow, okay. Good job, Beverly. Okay, that's good. That's, that's good. Don't go any more than that. All right. 
Good job, I really. Me. Good job. You just did it, honey. <laughs> I'm just. I well, you can't just I take just, over. I just put the one, two. Okay, let's help. You'll do another one in a minute. All right, so it's seven o'clock. Rain's starting to show signs that he's ready for bed. So we're gonna go in his room. Everly's taking a bath, which he's gonna have to get used to the noise, I guess. So we'll try it. when you go to load the dishwasher and there's clean ones in there. I die a little inside. It is 8 o'clock almost on Monday morning. It's 4th of July. Hope you guys had a 4th. Had a 4th. Hope you guys had a good 4th of July. Um, you'll be watching this after the fact. I don't think we're really doing anything today except we are smoking some tri-tip and some chicken on the grill. I got vegetable kebabs and um, we're going to do some potatoes too. So that is the plan for today. But we didn't buy any fireworks. Um, Parker is actually with his dad this week. So... We didn't really feel like we wanted to do fireworks just for Everly, so we just didn't. We just had that big trip with Big Bear, so I don't even think we're spending any time with family either. We did have people over yesterday night for the UFC fight, and now I think we're just kind of hanging out, um, getting ready to go back to normal this week. Um, Cody's going back to work. I'm going back to mom mode by myself. I'm catching up on laundry today, and I need to make a coffee. Um, I know I showed you guys that I've been using those Nut Pod creamers, but you know what? It just isn't cutting it for me and especially the little hold on hello i'm gonna make my coffee right now i showed you guys in a vlog i think it was the last one possibly the one after that i'm not sure anyways the nut pods creamer i don't know it's just like not it for me like i really enjoy my coffee in the morning um and it's just like it's not enjoyable it doesn't taste that great those little drops is what i don't really like the artificial like monk fruit sweeteners so I think I'm just gonna try and find like a good dairy-free creamer, um, just better ingredients. The reason why I switched was because a lot of like coffee meat and um, like those kinds of creamers, they have like hydrogenized oil in them. They have a lot of nasty ingredients in them and I follow the food babe on Instagram. If you guys do not follow her, I love it. She like shares like normal everyday things that we eat like fast food or like an Uncrustable or whatever. <laughs> and like the things that are actually inside them and it's just like ew man like it just grosses me out and the more i like see it over and over on instagram i'm just like i can't like i want to make better choices so i'm gonna make a coffee i'm, I'm even thinking about maybe going to, in, to instagram obviously i need coffee i'm even thinking about going to starbucks really quick too I had like an oat milk vanilla like drink over the weekend when I was at uh, Big Bear and it was really good. And I think I'm gonna do that actually. Maybe I'll do that and then get some breakfast sandwiches and stuff for everybody. Okay, we're going to Starbucks, let's go. <laughs> this is like his new thing. He does like a cough laugh. <laughs> so cute. Oh. Hi. My mother-in-law got him this little onesie. So cute. I don't know if I 
showed you guys. This is one of the patio plants we got. Isn't it so cute? And then this is another one over here. How cute is she? If I have one thing to share, if you're a mom, getting one of these keychains like this with the keys and then just putting it around your wrist, not only is it easy to find in your purse, it's so convenient just to have it on your wrist when you're like carrying a bunch of stuff. Highly recommend. Where did I get this one? I think I got this one on Etsy. I'll link it down below if I can find it, but you can find these on Etsy and I think Amazon. Um, they're really inexpensive and highly recommend. They're so good. Hi, what can I do for you today? Hi, I was just picking up an order for Krista. An order for Krista? Let me check on that for you. Okay. I feel so bad. She was literally shaking handing me that stuff. Like, she must have been new. I swear, I always get the new people at Starbucks. But I understand. Like, working the drive-thru is no joke. So here's what I got, holding green, so I'm a little shaky. I got the vanilla cream cold brew with five pumps vanilla. Normally it comes with three, but I got five and it's really good. And then I got a strawberry acai lemonade. And then I think this is a dragon fruit mango or something, passion fruit, I'm not sure. Got two of those also. I didn't even realize, I didn't even update you guys on what happened last night with Rain sleeping in his crib. I don't know how I didn't even remember. So I put him down at, gosh, I don't even remember what time it was. I think I mentioned it, I'm not sure. But um, I ended up putting him down, he was asleep, and I went and took a bath, and then I came out of the bath, and came out of, back here into the living room, and Cody was holding him. And he started to fuss a little too much, I guess, for Cody. So he just grabbed him. He was fussing for Cody. So Cody just decided to grab him. And um, he ended up just coming in our room last night. He did not sleep in his own room last night. So um, I think we're just going to slowly move from going like nap time. Like right now, he's like ready to take a nap. Um, and he's every time I put him in a swing, he gets really upset. So I think he's going to start taking naps in his room. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna go that way and see how that works first. And then just kind of gradually get him more used to sleeping in his room, um, and associating that with sleeping because I put his sleep sack on in his crib and he's like looking around, he's like, this is not where I sleep with my sleep sack. Like, where am I? What are we doing? So I think if we start doing that more, he'll kind of get the idea and hopefully go to sleep all night long. <laughs> sleep for at least 30 minutes that's what I'm hoping so I am just literally okay so I was just about to start editing and I can hear rain literally I just sat down to edit and it's 9 53 so I'm not sure how long that was I don't know what I said I already forgot but he's starting to wake up so let's go in there he did really good hi baby you did such a good job. Hi, my love. You did so good. Oh, I need to get some new sleep socks. He is growing out of this one since I've washed them a few times. Oh, hi, babe. You scared me. Good morning. You just woke up? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, I, was, I was not on my bed because my bed was... Because, because you were not reading me a book. Oh, I'm sorry. You fell asleep on the couch last night. I'm sorry, I didn't read you a book because you fell asleep on the couch. What I was saying though is I need to get a couple more of these sleep socks. Um, if you guys don't know, I am affiliated with Dreamland Baby for their sleep socks. And you can use my code KristaH15 to get 15% off. 
Um, they are the best, and he really does associate sleep yeah, with them, which baby, is key for it. us. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> All right, baby, you ready to get up? Oh, yeah. He took a nap in his crib. He did a good job. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Now it's time to get a special toy at Target. Rain's gonna get a special toy at Target yeah. for sleeping in his crib. Yeah. That's silly. All right, so it is 12.22 right now. We're actually gonna go to Hobby Lobby. It's like my birthday present. I don't know. That's what I've decided. I was like, let's just go to Hobby Lobby and find some cute stuff for the house. Like that's my idea of like birthday activities. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna come home. We're gonna smoke some tri-tip. We got some chicken from a butcher, tri-tip. Um, those vegetable kebabs. I think I already said that. I already said that. Okay, so let's just go. Rain is actually being really fussy today. So I actually need to get a front-facing carrier for him because the one we have is just um, like towards you. So I need to like look for one. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and go do this. All right, so we are back home from Hobby Lobby. I'm trying to get rain to take a nap in the swing. Um, I wanted to share with you guys what we got. This is like my birthday gift. So a lot of the stuff we got is for um, like our patio because that's kind of what we're doing right now. Um, Cody got some random things. I'm not really sure what he's doing with that, but that's his stuff. But I got this little lantern. This is for outside. It was 20 bucks on sale. It's like a nice plastic, so that'll be for the porch. What? What is it? It's a piece of pie. Yeah, it's a piece of Cute. Pie. So we got some little garden things. And then how pretty is this wind chime? I wish I was white, but the blue is pretty and I think it'll look good on the patio because a lot of the stuff I bought is white already. I have some more stuff in the car, so we're having a lunch break. Try tip, we're seasoning it with the seasoning. Best seasoning for try tip. Yeah, this brand, the, um, what is the brand? Is it Hardcore Carnivore? Yeah. Yeah, these are really good um, seasonings and they are pretty big size. Like, they are a little bit more expensive, but they last forever. Uh, these are the lemon pepper chicken breasts. Mm -hmm. You got two of each. I got two of these. These are good. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. 